It was a cruise to nowhere. A woman uh, says that she is still waiting on the $12,000 she paid for a cruise during COVID. It never happened. That is so much money. And new this morning, we're taking a closer look at the new protections in place to keep this from happening to you. That is a huge chunk of change. Huge. Brenda Myatt says she feels double crossed by the cruise line and travel company that booked her Panama Canal vacation to California two years ago. COVID canceled her Royal Caribbean cruise back then, and ever since, she's been fighting for a $12,000 refund. And it wasn't the cruise line's fault that we couldn't go, but still, it's no fault of mine that we didn't go. So I should be compensated for my funding. At Royal Caribbean International. According to Brenda, Royal Caribbean first offered future travel credits, but she didn't want to cruise again while COVID was a health issue. She says the cruise line did eventually agree to the refund. Months later, still no cash back. So they keep saying it was refunded to my form of payment and we've seen nothing. She says she used AAA as her travel company and that it hasn't helped her recover the money either. When I call AAA, I have been passed off and I can't get anywhere with them. Going forward, disputes like these should be easier to resolve. The Federal Maritime Commission recently adopted new rules to help if this happens to you. First, the commission now requires full refunds if cruise line cancels a trip or delays it by three days or more. And second, cruise lines must include clear refund restrictions online. I want all of my money back. As for Brenda, Royal Caribbean says it sent her refund to AAA and that that agency will issue her a refund. And we should note that these new rules cover any cruises that were booked since April of this year.